Hey, it's Mike. Let's talk about Reaper. In this episode, I'll show you how to create a web interface to control the transport and your mix controls in Reaper. Let's take a look. We'll start by clicking on Options, going to Preferences, then going to the Control OSC Web tab. If you followed my last tutorial, you may already have an entry listed here from creating a personal monitor mix for a performer. If you've not seen that video, click the link above for details. We'll click on Add, and for Control Surface Mode, choose Web Browser Interface. If you do already have another instance of a web control interface listed here, be sure to choose a different port. I typically just increment the ports by one number. My existing interface is using port number 8080, so for this new one I'll choose port number 8081. I won't use a username or password since this is just on my local network, and for the default interface I like the fancier template. If you place a check mark on userc.reaper.fm, that URL can be used while on your local network instead of using the IP address of the computer because Reaper will automatically intercept that traffic. So I'll check mark this and I'll give it an ID that needs to be unique from any other interfaces you have. My previous one is called Drums because it's for my drum monitor, so I'll just call this one Mixer. Then apply settings. And if I want to access this on my phone or tablet or any other device, I would simply go to rc.reaper.fm slash mixer. It's very important that the other device is on the same logical network as your computer that's running Reaper, otherwise it won't be able to intercept the traffic. I'll click OK to close out of these dialogs. Let's open up a browser on our phone to take a look. On my phone, I'll open up Chrome and go to the URL that was given to us in the interface dialog earlier, which is rc.reaper.fm forward slash mixer. I'll get the success notification and can click this link to confirm. And as you can see, I have a transport and the same tracks that are showing in the project on screen. If I click on any of the tracks, I get a fader. And if I move this fader on my cell phone, it also corresponds on screen. I can mute tracks. I can solo tracks. I can control the transport. Now while that's playing, if I don't want any drums, I can go ahead and mute the old drums. I can solo them. This works on cell phones, but it'll also work on a tablet, a laptop, or even on the same computer that you're using Reaper on. Let's take a look. On the same computer, I'll go to rc.reaper.fm forward slash mixer. I get the same success dialog like I got on my cell phone, and you can see it's rearranged itself a bit for the larger screen, but this particular template was actually meant for mobile devices, so it looks a whole lot better on the cell phone than it does on the computer. But I do still have the option. I can play, pause, stop. I can arm tracks and record. I can go to different markers and can do pretty much anything that I would want to do in Reaper. This is really helpful if you have the personal monitoring mix interface combined with it if you're going to be recording yourself away from your desk like at a drum set or in a different room. I hope this helps. If you like the content you're seeing, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. And you can also click the Buy Me A Coffee link below to support the channel financially. I like coffee. <laughs>